of the previous points that we had. Only like we looked up around the, the interface, the user face, how it works, these viewports. And uh, here, these tools, how we create um, objects with these com commands. So mm -hmm. the types of obje objects we had, uh, we had uh, like curves, we had surfaces, also solid objects, some like uh, boxes and mm -hmm. like, like these, the easy boxes, uh, easy shapes, I can say, geometrical uh, objects. And we can also like do modification like using these tools, uh, like join or explode. We use them in an example, how to explode every uh, surface of an object, you can say, to, to be its own, and then join them again. Uh, trim and untrim, split, uh, grouping, and so we will check this uh, again in, this, uh, in today. Mm -hmm. And where we were left, we like focused in the last minutes in the previous uh, session on how to create surfaces. So we had like we saw different uh, methods to create surfaces. For example, yeah, this planner from planner curve when you have. Uh, planner curve and you want to fill it make it a solid surface you can use this or this patch they are basically the same but patch works with more complex uh, objects uh, we also like so how to create an extrusion uh, extrude straight extrude or uh, extrude to point like like we you also like tried on your screen from this yeah. surface here extrude and these options and the last thing uh, last thing we did was the loft uh, mm -hmm. command so how to create an object between curves so uh, let me just show again the loft command and then jump to the next um, command that we have so for the loft uh, in the last time we also went to a side view so i'm now mm -hmm. here in the front view I'm okay. creating two very, or maybe even more, you can do three or whatever. So- And if you just did all this on the same plane, okay. Uh -huh, exactly, so all in the same plane. I'm gonna do that too. Uh -huh. Yeah, no okay. problem. Then um, I'm gonna take one of them using this uh, gumball or the, the arrow, I'm gonna just spread them away. One, and I will take this to the middle. Okay. So roughly this shape. Okay, Maybe yeah, I've got some, something like that too. Uh -huh. So I will go now to loft, say enter. It says here, select curves to loft and I will use, choose all of them and hit enter. Choose. So yeah, we checked also like the other options. For example, if you wanted the straight sections, so it creates something like a, a bit with a corner on. With a crease on it. Yeah, so it, exactly. it becomes more steep on, on the curves here. Uh, that's the straight section. We have like the tight or the loose. Yeah, for example, loose, it does not like pass exactly through the the line in the middle, as you can see, it's a bit loose, or which is similar to the name. Or if you say tight, so it will make it pass uh, exactly through this line that we have. So uh, you can also like use these options here to, to rebuild with uh, curves. So, for example, if you can see now, because I have 10 control points, wow. it's creating uh -huh. a lot of divisions in my surface. Right. So I can, let's say, 50. So it's a lot of divisions. If you wow. want to play more with, like after that with, with the surface and do, so let's say I created this and I say, okay. Now, uh, if I choose the surface, if I come here and see, yeah, you can see here, show curve, 
edit points, this command here on the left panel. Like with these control points is, uh, if you like also drag them, you can see how you create new like curves with, with these surfaces. So I deselect some of them and then drag again. Okay, uh, so if, let me see if I... after you select it, uh, hit on the keyboard oh, okay. F10, there is a shortcut. So here I will choose, I'll select only my curves using shift and multiple clicks. Again, choose only the curves and take them away. Now, while they are uh, already selected, I can just go locked and it will create a new lot again for me. But if I say, I don't want 50 divisions, only for example, 10 and say, okay. So here you see the difference between these two surfaces. So here, let me just make this big. Here in this one, if I activate these points and for example, I, change one surface point, it will take the surface like very smooth, like a smooth part of the surface or like, I don't know, Steve. Like I did, that, that's why. Uh -huh. exactly. okay. So, but if I activate it for this one and when you drag it, you you can have like a wider uh, part uh, of the surface. Okay. So this is what you like plan to, to do when you when you create your surface. So how much divisions you you created with. So this is what I I want uh, basic point of all of this. For example, this only one and I want to take it out somehow. Um so yeah, that was with with a loft. So we created these surfaces with uh, a loft of of these curves. So I oh, escape. So nothing is selected now. If you try to click around the corner, it will sense that there are two objects there. So you it's asking you what do you want to select, like the curve or the surface. So I will choose uh, the curve. Then the next one, using shift on my keyboard, again, uh, keep clicking shift and choose the other one. And again, for the third one. So I'm choosing only these curves. Yeah, so we drag them somewhere okay. else. And make yeah. sure I locked again. Yeah, to, to enter the command again, locked. When it comes to select curves a lot, you just select these. Yeah. Or if you want, like, do not simplify so it does not create like these uh, divisions. So just normal. Uh, just to uh, remind you with the like controls in, in the viewport. Uh, dragging with the right click, it just rotates, but right click along with shift, it just bends. 